Welcome to another real world review. And this time I'm taking a look at the HP Chromebook X2 11. Now, <laughs> the amazing thing is there's not a lot of reviews, uh, at least that I could find. Chrome Unboxed, uh, they've been talking about do, you know coming out with a review for uh, I think two or three weeks now, has not come out. Uh, when the price of this dropped to $400, I decided to go ahead and get it. Uh, I pay for all the stuff I review. And so, you know, dropping $200 and with the specs, I, I really, I, I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna pass this up. Now, uh, if you've not watched any of my reviews before, I don't go through the specs. You, you can find that in a lot of different places. And if you're watching this, you might already know the specifications of this unit. What I want about, what I wanna do in reviews is uh, basically show how, how I would use it and, and how usable it is in normal everyday um, life. That's why I talk about real world review. And so uh, let me let me change a couple of things here. Well, this might say a lot about me, but uh, I, I have three different tablets here. Uh, they're all Chromebooks. Uh, this one is the Lenovo uh, Duet 10.1 uh, inch. And I really wanted, uh, to, to compare these uh, as I do this review, because for me, that was something I was hoping from the reviews that they could pair, pair the two. Uh, and then here is the, uh, the, the HP X2, and here is the original uh, HP X2. And the reason why I pulled this one out is because it is 12.3 inches. And you can see the size difference here. I mean, there's there's quite a bit. There's quite a bit of size difference. And the updated Lenovo is going to be 13.3 inches. Uh, to be honest, I, I can't imagine trying to use a tablet that size. Now, maybe for you, that's perfect because you really wanted to use it as a laptop replacement as well. You know, I have other things for that. Uh, what I use this for is, especially in the mornings when I'm riding or coming bike, I, I use it to consume media, uh, you know, uh, Netflix, uh, YouTube, HBO Max, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and, and I've been using that pretty consistently to do those things. But I wanted something smaller. And, and so that's really w and, uh, why I went with the, the, uh, the duo. And... The duo's not, or the duet, I'm sorry. Uh, the duet's nice, but it was just a bit underpowered for me. I mean, that that's really the only issue I had uh, with the, the duet. And I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Uh, and I guess I have a, an update that I'm not going to run right now. Uh, so I wanna compare these two. And uh, the nice thing about the, you know, this one, the, the HP, is I just touch uh, my finger on the, on the on and off switch and it, and it loads in. So what do I have running here? I've got, uh, I have uh, several tabs. Uh, I've got guitar tabs there. I've got Mobile Sheet Pro and I have my Logos Bible Study. I'm gonna exit out of that because I want to do a comparison uh, between these two. And on this one, I just have uh, Chrome running and I have uh, four tabs. And on the, the HP, and so for, uh, for this, uh, the HP, I have nine tabs uh, going, all right. And one of the things I do every morning is I load in my Bible app and I know there's there's a glare there. Uh, let me try to move this camera back a little. Okay. So uh, I load in my Bible app and we'll just see how these work. And really one of my challenges was uh, the Lenovo just seemed laggy. As you can see, it took a while uh, to load it in and uh, you know that that wasn't too bad but after a while 
uh, especially if I end up with more than, than four tabs open, the thing really slows down. And in fact, there are times when, I, when uh, it, it becomes, it, it doesn't uh, even uh, you know, re redraw the screen. Now, some might be thinking, hey, what about the brightness? I have the, this brightness uh, down somewhat. Uh, actually, that's what it came with. And so usually this one will turn the brightness up. Yeah. So there they are uh, with the brightness all the way up on both of them. I'll switch it around so you get a, you get a different angle there. Uh, oh, and I just turned it off. But, but one of the things with the HP, with the fingerprint reader, uh, it has, as far as I tell, it has things for three different fingerprints. Uh, so I had to do it in different orientations because sometimes I have it like this and the fingerprint readers down there. Sometimes I will have it like this. And so I have to use that finger. Sometimes I've got it like that. So I have to use that finger. I usually don't have it like this uh, for whatever reason, uh, or rather, you know, like this with it down here. Uh, but I had to, you know, use all three of the fingerprint slots and it might have been nice to be able to have maybe one or two more. Uh, maybe that's just me. But overall, this is a really solid tablet. Uh, it's, like I said, uh, compared to the du Duet, it's not nearly as laggy. Uh, so I've got uh, another app ready to load in. I have on both of them a Kindle app. So you can kind of check out the difference there. Yeah, and again, uh, the longer I use this one, the uh, laggier it, it gets. And of course that makes sense. Uh, but so far I have not had any issues at all with the uh, HP. It's kept up with all the stuff I'm doing. And again, I've, I only have uh, four tabs open here and I've got nine over here. So uh, that's basically what I wanted to go over. It's, it's really, uh, you know, I've only had this for a couple of days, uh, but I can really tell a difference in the speed. But I wanted to do this video so that some of you would see the difference in the speed too. Now, there are other tablets coming out. Will they be better than this one? I don't know, perhaps. Uh, I do like the idea of a fingerprint uh, reader, uh, even though I have it hooked up that if I unlock my phone and unlocks this, but it's just more convenient to just touch it. And the fact that it comes with a, a pen is fantastic. Now, I, I you know, it, it, it clips onto the bottom, but, uh, you know, I kind of wish there was a way to stow it away as well uh, because I was getting out of the car today and, and something hit the pen and of course the pen jump comes off and my cons my my concern is that at some point that will happen but i won't know it <laughs> and there was a uh, I, I saw someone uh, a few people have posted about the the keyboard and let me get the keyboard i've got way too much stuff going on here uh the keyboard yeah i know that's coming through and and you don't have to put that much pressure on this for it to actually click the trackpad. Uh, I've not found it much of a problem because I usually don't use it with the keyboard. Uh, when I had it in my lap, uh, it was pretty easy uh, to get it to click the, click the, the, the trackpad, uh, but I just didn't rest my palms on you know either side of this. I kept it over the keyboard and stuff. And so it, it wasn't an issue, but again, I didn't use it for that long. So. Uh, maybe if I'm like trying to write something fairly long, uh, it, it might cause issues, uh, but usually I'll use a laptop for that sort of thing. So again, uh, I bought this more for a tablet than a laptop replacement. Uh, hopefully the Lenovo Duet, is it five? I forget what, you know, how they designated that. It, it doesn't have the keyboard issue because I'm thinking if you're getting a 13.3 inch screen, it's probably going to be like your one device. 
And I think for that, it, it would probably be, uh, from what I've read, probably a pretty good device. Although, since the screen's bigger, uh, at least I would think that the processor would have to work harder. So it might not feel as, uh, as snappy as what the Chromebook X211 is. Now, I was able to get it on sale for $400. Again, I, I purchased all my stuff uh, and you know, I, I felt that $600 was too much for me. Five, four fifty was really what I was waiting for. And then it jumped down. It's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta do this. Even though I kind of wanted to wait for the, uh, Lenovo, then they updated Lenovo to come out just to kind of see where that one was. But I really do think that the screen is, is just going to be too big for me. So I uh, hope you enjoy your tech. Uh, if you have a, a question, I will uh, try to keep up with the comments. And also if you have want to see a real world review of something I already have, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do.